name is Chris Lunas. Today I'd like to talk about my favorite hobby. That's sailing. Sailing to me is more than just trying to get from one place to another. I'd like to describe the basic configuration of generally the small boats that I like to sail. They're configured as a sloop, which is one mast. A catch, two masts. A yawl, also two masts. However, the half mast is behind the steering wheel. And a schooner. The schooner has two masts, but the aft mast is larger than the forward mast. My boat is configured as a sloop, a single mast with a foresail and a mainsail. In sailing, it's not always a point to point to get from one place to another. One has to be aware of the wind and the direction from which the wind is coming. In order to get your boat to sail the way you want it to sail, you have to be aware of the wind and aware of how to trim the sails to get the benefit from the wind to move your boat. The best point of sail for a sailboat is with the wind on the beam, 90 degrees to the sail. One can sail all day beautifully that way. The most difficult way to sail is to get to a point that is upwind. In other words, if there's an island you'd like to go to here off San Diego, I'd like to go to Catalina. Generally speaking, because of the prevailing wind, Catalina is directly into the wind from where I want to go. I can't sail directly there. So I have to do what's called tacking. Beep. 
I've got to sail my boat as efficiently as I can upwind, which is about 35 degrees to the wind. I can only get within 35 degrees of the prevailing wind. So I'll sail as close as I can, or 35 degrees, on a course uh, for as long as I think necessary. And then I'll have to turn to put the boat on the other tack, as we call it. with the wind 35 degrees on the other side of the boat. Therefore, the course would look like a zigzag back and forth to my destination. Now, depending upon my skill and the layout of the boat, I can perhaps get there quicker than somebody else. Of course, if somebody else has a better boat and his skills are better, he's going to beat me there. That's part of the challenge and the fun of sailing. Now, we call that sailing uphill. Just like everything else, if you go uphill, there's going to be a reward coming downhill. Coming back from Catalina, if the wind is the same, then it's a beautiful run back to San Diego. A run is with the wind at our back. So I'll put the sails all the way out, gather as much wind as I can, and float effortlessly, effortlessly back to San Diego. That's the ideal condition. skills and being experienced and knowing how to sail enables one to sail in virtually all types of weather. Knowing that uh, uh, how much your boat can handle, how much wind you can handle, sails, how much sail to, to expose, how much sail to take in during heavy weather, are all things that uh, one should know make sailing pleasurable, safe, and a long time enjoyable hobby.